Okay guys, so in this episode I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install some uh, tail lights on the fat scooter and uh, so I figured I'm gonna use these as my tail lights. So I'm just gonna wrap it around the tubes, one on the left, one on the right and uh, we'll see how that looks. I'm gonna route the cables on the inside of the tube. I already made the holes before. One up here and one down close to the electronic box. So that's what I'm gonna do. First thing to do is to remove the seat. And then the next thing I pulled a... I fed a piece of uh, steel wire. It's uh, actually a three strand that I twisted with a, with a drill. I poked it in here, poked it all the way through until it comes out and then I feed my uh, my cables through here so um, that's the first part next thing I'm just gonna start uh, soldering these um, connections up So actually here I'm just gonna cover this with electrical tape because I know that I'm gonna open this one up again in order to get my 12 volt um, uh, output here. And yeah, I got one of these. This is a buck converter I think it's called, DC to DC converter. So you see this one is um, from 15 to 72 volt input and then it gives you 12 volt output at uh, like 5 amps, yeah it says here 5 amps and uh, without this one uh, it's not possible to run anything that's on 12 volts that's like uh, the front light, the rear lights, the horn, um, indicators anything like that, no nothing would really work because of the voltage so this one I just connected to um, from the speed controller there's an output, there's a bunch of outputs on the full battery voltage, so I just put it onto here. So before finishing up, it's uh, probably a good idea to test it out. And yeah, it works. Lucky me, right? And yeah, there it is. Both of them works. So I'm gonna um, wrap them around and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so quick change of plans. I uh, I rode the bike one day with the lights on here like I just showed you. And um, I didn't really like the look of it. And they were starting to come loose right away. So I decided to move them in under the seat. Like a U shape. And I'm just gonna attach them zip tight, cut them off. And actually to get the zip tight in I had to loosen the seat a little bit. So, that's what I'm doing, I'm finishing that one up right now.